How to root MIUI 13 and fix a boot loop in case you run into any issues. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can root MIUI 13 and also fix any issues in case you run into a boot loop. So this here is the POCO F3, the Mi 11X, the Redmi K40, whatever you want to call it. And this right now is running MIUI 13, which of course is the China beta build. And this is based on Android 12. Now, all the links are in the description of this video. So you do need the magisk file and at the time of recording this video to root anything based on Android 12, you need the latest magisk canary build because the stable and beta builds do not root Android 12 as of now. However, however, I'm pretty sure that is going to change down the line in the future. And if and when that changes, it will be mentioned in the description and in the pinned comment on this video. So here we are on the releases page of Magisk, but that is not where we have to be. We have to be on the main page of Magisk. So this here is the main page of Magisk on GitHub. All you need to do is tap on this Magisk canary thing. And if it asks you for permission, go ahead and say allow and then download the APK. This is going to download an APK on our device and because it is MIUI, it is trying to install it directly as well. But we do not want that right now. We will go ahead and install it manually. So open your file manager, go into storage, and then you can go into the download section and here and install the app-debug.apk. Now this here is your Magisk APK and installing the APK is not going to root your device. This is only going to install the Magisk app on your device, which we are going to check to see whether our device is rooted or not right now so here it is magisk is installed let me open this here and you will notice that magisk says not applicable the app has a version now because magisk is not applicable this means that my device right now is not rooted now next thing of course you do need your device to have a custom recovery already installed and the issue with custom recoveries at the time of recording this video is that you're not able to access your internal storage which is why we are going to have to use this usb otg drive over here so again we're going to attach the usb otg drive to our phone because we need the magisk zip in our usb otg drive so next up we are going to go into file manager and we are going to say press and hold on this app hyphen debug dot apk file and we are going to say more and we are going to copy this once we have copied it we are going to go ahead and paste it to our usb otg drive so we are going to say select folder usb otg and here in select the download folder i do have a bunch of stuff over here but we are going to say paste now the file was pasted here successfully and i should have something called app hyphen debug dot apk however for it to work successfully without any issues across all recoveries which include your pitch black orange fox twrp we need to rename this so press and hold on this go into more and then say rename and change the extension from dot apk to dot zip that is what we are going to use over here dot apk has to be changed to dot zip and then select check mark and then select ok and say ok one more time now the file has been renamed to app hyphen debug dot zip that's it next thing we need to do is we need to boot into our custom recovery so first of all turn off your device and then once the device has turned off press and hold power and volume up press and hold power and volume up once you see the poco logo me logo redmi logo let go of the power button keep volume up pressed and this is going to make sure we boot into our custom recovery which in this case is orange fox and you are free to flash this using your pwrp or pitch black as well well now the first thing we need to do is we need to take a backup of our current boot image because if we run into any boot loops that is what we are going to use to revert back so this here is orange fox we have to use the second option here is backups and again we are not able to access our internal storage so change the storage to usb otg we will say select storage usb otg over here 
and then tap on this plus sign to create a new backup and here and make sure that the boot is selected so only boot needs to be selected and then swipe to backup now while orange fox is backing it up if you are doing it on twrp go into backup you again have the option of select storage select your storage as usb otg and then again make sure that boot is selected and then swipe to backup so that is how you take a backup on twrp recovery now once the backup has finished successfully we can select back over here and then we will go to the files section here and you can see i'm not able to see my internal storage so we need to swap over to usb otg tap on this down arrow besides the sd card here and select usb otg and bam here is the storage of my usb otg drive similarly if you were to do this on say twrp you will go into install again select storage select your usb otg device from here check mark this radio box and you should see your usb otg drive in twrp as well then navigate to the folder where you have the file so in our case it is in the download folder all you need to do is select this app hyphen debug dot apk and we had renamed it to dot zip so app hyphen debug dot zip and then swipe to install it now super important thing if you are using say TWRP on the Mi 11X or the POCO F3 and you have the option of injecting TWRP after install make sure that option is unchecked again any option which is going to inject your recovery after installing a zip file needs to be unchecked when you are flashing magisk or rooting your device and here it is you can see everything was done without any errors and the next thing we are going to say is reboot system so we have successfully booted back into MIUI. Let me unlock my device and then we can go back into the Magisk option and see whether our device is rooted or not. So as you can see, Magisk requires additional setup, which means we were rooted without any issues. Selected OK. The device is going to reboot one more time. So boot it back into MIUI one more time. We can of course unlock our device, go into the Magisk option, open the application and bam, here it is. Magisk now is installed, which means that the device has been rooted and you have successfully rooted MIUI 13 at this point. Now, what if you run into issues of boot loops? So let us go ahead and reboot our device. Assume you are in the boot loop and all you need to do is press and hold power and volume up while you are in the boot loop so while you are in the boot loop you are at the boot animation just press and hold power and volume up and you are going to boot into your custom recovery which in this case is orange fox so let me repeat myself one last time while you are in the boot loop press and hold power and volume up you are going to boot into your custom recovery then we need to restore back the boot image which we had backed up so for orange fox this here is the option of backup now here in our backup is in the usb otg so of course you have to make sure it is connected go into select storage select usb otg and as you can see they are populated on their own so we're going to use the second one because that is the one which has the boot now boot over here is automatically selected if it is not make sure that this check mark over here is checked and then swipe to restore your boot partition similarly if you backed up using twrp you will go into the restore option over here again at the bottom select storage select your usb otg drive and you should have the backup automatically populated select the correct backup to restore and you can see restore process was finished without any errors and now we are going to say reboot system so now that we have booted back into MIUI, we can of course unlock our device open magisk one more time and this time around you will notice that the installed says not applicable this means we have successfully unrooted our device which means that the boot image which we had backed up was restored and if you are or you were in a boot loop you should now be out of a boot loop and there it is peeps that is how you root MIUI 13 and also fix your device in case you run into any boot loops after rooting your device and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you